Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope your day's going well so far. Recently, I asked you guys if you would be interested in seeing home decor hauls. I believe that was in the Pop Sugar Must Haves box. And a lot of you guys were like, yes, please do them. I personally love watching them. So if you guys like know of a channel that does a lot of them, feed me my addiction and let me know down below. So I figured I would go ahead and give it a try one to just see what the feedback is like. If you guys are liking it, just give it a thumbs up. If not, then I'll know and I'll just not do them anymore. But yeah, just figured I would try something new on this channel. So everything here, in fact, I think like 100% of it, no, maybe 99% of it is either from Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. Home Goods is like my ride or die. I freaking love that place. The employees there are probably sick of me because I stock it. The one closest to my house, I believe, like they re get new things in, like new inventory on Wednesdays. So I always go because Landon has school Wednesday mornings anyway. So I like bum rush it over there and check it out. In fact, I got like all of my bedding for my new day bed here, which if you guys are interested in seeing like a room tour of this like makeup filming room, then just let me know. It's one wall, it's still really bare and I need to work on that. So maybe I'll wait for that. But I posted a picture on Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, then you're missing out. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you this one here because this is the closest. Oh, I think I got everything from there except for the body pillow and the sheet, but everything else I got from Home Goods, and this was one of the pillows I got there. Home Goods seriously has like the best throw cushions. This one is from the brand. It was pretty recent. In fact, I saw it there like yesterday. Max Studio Home. It just has this little seat quince bars on I think it's so so cute so that's sitting up there right now so if you guys are like looking for home decor stuff and you have a home goods nearby check it out they seriously have like the best of everything and you can get awesome deals so I'm gonna go ahead and just get on into it okay so first off I have this guy here this I've actually had it for a while now but I saw it in there recently because I go basically every other day so if you guys are into this then hopefully it will still I feel like I have to sneeze and it won't come out. Okay, anyways, maybe that will be at your home goods too. Um, I would describe this as like kind of rustic. I don't know, I feel like there's like several different versions of rustic, but this is kind of like rustic to me and I really like it. It's just like a giant candle holder lantern thing. It has like these weird wood pieces on it. Now the candle didn't come with it. This was like a battery operated candle I bought at Home Goods. It's probably dead now. Yeah. But when it's on and in here, it just gives like a really pretty warm glow at night. But it did come with a like glass jar inside. It's freaking huge and it's heavy. This is actually just like in the corner in our living room, like on a shelf. And I really like the look of it. And this, I kept the prices on everything. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this was $12.99. And then I think the actual candle was like $7.99, something like that. Um, during that same trip, I also bought this guy here. I know you're probably like, why do you need this? I don't know what it is about this. I think it's so, so cute. It like reminds me kind of like of jellyfish or something, but I think, I mean, I feel like back in the day, this would have been like a paperweight or something, but it's just more decor now. It's huge and it's heavy. It's just a big globe. And then it has all these little bubbles inside of it. My birthday in July, my sister-in-law bought me this big mirror tray that I've been like wanting forever from Z Gallery. That just sits on top of our ottoman. And in that tray, I like to keep like fresh flowers and candles and coffee table books. And this sits on there too. And it just looks really cool with the mirror right underneath. So this was $8.99 at Home Goods. They had a small version too and then they had one that was more of like a blue color in store this looked kind of like slightly green to me but right now it looks clear I don't know I guess it depends like what room you're in so that is sitting on the little tray thingy um let's see oh I recently got this at home goods oh I've been wanting to find like a picture frame that has this whole oh you can see everything I don't know what kind of wood this is called, like driftwood looking type thing. I didn't even notice though, the actual frame has like a little pattern engraved in it. But I love the look of this. It just reminds me of home. Like, I don't know, it reminds me of like the beach in Florida. But this is sitting on one of the walls or hanging on one of the walls in our living room. I just think it's really cool and unique. I wanna find um, like a big frame or like a shape of something that's like this same color wood. And then hanging next to that in our living room is this. I looked at this for a while before I bought it just because I was like, not that I don't like horses because I do, I think they're really pretty, but I'm not like, you know, like, did you, I'm sure a lot of you guys had that friend growing up who's like obsessed with horses and went to like book fairs and bought like every horse po poster that was available. Did you guys have book fairs? I don't know, but I wasn't one of those girls, so don't think that. But I saw this and I loved the colors of it. Normally I like am more drawn to 
like warm tones but our living room our couches are like a weird color like some days they look beige to me other days they look gray I have a picture of that too so that will be popped up right here once again on Instagram um, but for whatever reason I felt like this just fit like with the mirror tray and the ottoman and everything and it's just a giant horse picture it's just a canvas but it's really cool because it's like blue, white, and gold. I really like the colors of it. And there's this like flex of metallic gold here and like all throughout his body. I just really like the color of it. And this looks really, really good with this little mirror next to it. Like they just go well together. I don't know. Oh, this isn't from Home Goods, but I've gotten a couple questions of this on Instagram and on here on YouTube. A couple of you guys were asking where I got this. I actually made this. This is just a super cheap mini canvas from Hobby Lobby. Then I bought two packs of gold thumbtacks and then a G for my last name. And I just poked all those in there. And I think it's really cute. It goes like with my gold polka dots and everything. Something about white and gold I love. Like white, gold, black, and like pops of pink. I think are just really cute and girly. So yeah, you can make this super easy. I wanna say this total cost me like under five bucks. So just to answer those questions, this wasn't from Home Goods. It was from TJ Maxx, but TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods are like all under the same family. This picture frame I got from there for for $3.99. And then inside, this is a card that my friend Savannah sent me. She sent me a pack of them from Etsy. It's just a little watercolor of a Chanel perfume bottle, and I think that looks so cute inside. At first, I thought I was just gonna put a picture of Landon. I need water, my throat is so dry. But I saw this and I thought it went perfect perfect just because this is kind of like a brassy gold and then having that like gold perfume bottle inside so this just sits on one of the little floating shelves above the day bed so I think that's pretty much everything I have from home goods in this haul um, everything else is from Hobby Lobby I bought this mirror this was $49.99 and then 50% off was it 50 yeah 50 if you guys go to Hobby Lobby then you know like every like I don't know if it's day or week they rotate like what's on sale like right right now it was like metal decor wood decor was 50% off and then the next week like mirrors canvases fall decor will all be like 50 or 40% off so I got this one it was 50% off and this is just hanging by the day bed you guys can see the mess that's right over there don't judge me but this was $49.99 and 50% off never pay a full price at Hobby Lobby like ever because you can always get it on sale they just do the rotations and then also if you do see something you really want like that week and you have to have it um, Hobby Lobby always has like a 40% off coupon that you can use on your phone no this isn't sponsored I'm just a crazy person who's obsessed but this whole like weird like I don't even know what this is called the like antique looking gold color I love so I think that's everything that's like normal home decor stuff. Everything else was like holiday, except for this. I wanted to quickly share this with you guys. My friend Seth, I went to high school with him. He has an Etsy shop. Even in high school, he was always like good at doodling and drawing. I posted this on Instagram and I'm seriously so obsessed. I feel like this would make a great gift for someone just because handmade things are just way more personal than something that you just like go out to the store and buy and I just thought this was so so pretty um this is like this is this right here are two feathers that's like he etched it into the wood and then it's hand painted I'm not sure if he painted the frame as well but I just told him I wanted something that was kind of cool toned but the frame I knew I wanted like accents of gold he did this perfectly. I am so obsessed with it. I think it's so pretty and like boho looking. If you know someone who's like really into like mermaids, he has mermaid ones. He recently started doing um, octopus, octopi, right? Isn't octopi plural? He also has like bigger pieces. If you have a guy in your life who's really into like fishing or anything, he paints like pictures of fish tails. He has like snapper, mahi, all kinds of cool stuff that's like painted on driftwood and old barn wood or you could do prints. He's super, super talented and I absolutely love this. So if you guys are interested in checking out his shop, I will have it linked down below. And yeah, okay, now let's go ahead and get into the holiday stuff, which I'm super excited for. I don't know, I love Halloween, but I didn't want like creepy gross stuff in my house. Like I didn't want to do like spiders and stuff because I hate spiders. So I don't want to like pay to have a spider in my home. Um, I've seen other people like make that look cute, but Keegan and I both hate spiders. So I just knew like, okay, no spiders. I want to do more like cute Halloween-y type things. 
So all this stuff I actually got today from Hobby Lobby. Their fall decor, Christmas decor, and like Halloween decor was 40% off. Hobby Lobby currently has like so many pretty Christmas things that I want to get. They had like a whole section that was nothing but like silver and then gold and tons of mercury glasses, which I am a sucker for. So I'm sure I'll be going back, but maybe closer to Christmas because I need to calm down. So yeah, all this stuff was today. So super recent. First up, I got this guy, which I thought was so cute. I don't know what it is about him. He's just really cute. This was $21.99 and then obviously the 40% off and his hat actually comes off So I guess like you could put candy or something in it, but I don't know because it kind of has like a weird felt lining I'm not gonna put anything in it, but I just think he's really cute So he is sitting on my kitchen counter next to a cookie jar right now But I just really like the colors and his little roughly collar and then this was really random but I thought it looks like kind of cute it reminds me of like a little potion bottle or something and it matched like with the purple things that I got. So this was just $2.99. Once again, this was also 40% off. But this is sitting right next to this guy here. This says beware. Oh, I cut the tag off of this. But I'm like almost 100% sure this was $11.99 and then the 40% off. It's just a glitter little chunk of wood that says beware. But this little like apothecary bottle is sitting behind it. I love purple and green together. Like that just looks Halloween-y to me and it just makes it pop out more. So these are sitting by the cookie jar as well. It's our spooky corner. That's what Landon says. He's become like obsessed with the word spooky. Um, I also got this gold little gilded pumpkin candle. This was $6.99 and then once again, 40% off. Everything in here was 40% off, so I won't have to keep saying that. Then I also got this candle holder because I thought it looked so cute on top of it. And then this candle was $7.99. I'm actually gonna use this during like Thanksgiving and stuff too because I found another little candle, but I feel like this would work for Thanksgiving. So this is just sitting like with the pumpkin guy and stuff. The pumpkin's just so like cute and short and chubby. It makes me happy. So there's that guy. Um, let's see, this is the last, no, I have two more Halloween things. Actually, you know what? I'm missing a pumpkin. Oh no, I bought this really cute, like, pearly, no, like, more of like a creamy white pumpkin that has these cute metal rods. I think I left that one in the car. Dang it. Oh well. I also got this guy right here. This is like, I don't know what this is made of, if it's like plastic or wood. That sounds so stupid not knowing, but it's like a really weird, I don't know. Let's see if it says... Of course it doesn't. It just says decorative use only, not a toy. This was $15.99 and it just says keep calm and haunt on. I like the black and white combo. This with like the purples and everything just looks so cute. Like look at this. Don't those colors look pretty together? I love it. So there is that guy. And then I also got this tiny little pumpkin candle guy, candle guy, candle holder. He was just $1.99, so I'm gonna put a little tea light in there, and he's sitting on top of our oven. I think that's so cute. That looks like something someone would make like in pottery class, but I think that's why I like it so much. Okay, the rest of this stuff are just three more things I have here. These are things that I'm gonna pull out during Thanksgiving, although they would work right now. I bought two owls. This one was just so cute. Like this reminds me of something my grandma would have had in her house. I love his big old beady eyes. This was $13.99. You can put a candle in them. I probably won't though. Although I guess I could get one of those little battery operated candles and put them in there. But I just love his fluffy little belly. So I got him and then a little friend. This was $6.99 so they can hang out together during Thanksgiving. And then this little green glazed pumpkin that was $11.99. I like the brown and green together. I'm not like super crazy about a ton of orange and stuff during Thanksgiving just because that gets played out. But like, look, even these would be cute together. They have so many cute pumpkins right now and they're super affordable. So yeah, that is everything I have in this haul for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I mentioned earlier, if you guys are interested in seeing more of these home decor hauls, I feel so fancy doing one of those. Not fancy, mature maybe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going for. Anyways, yeah, like I said, if you guys do want to see more of these, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love interacting with you guys, and all that good stuff. So all of my links will be down below. And if you guys would like to keep being updated with all my future uploads, be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.